I can now play Zen Garden mode. <laughs> what do I look like, a goddamn fucking flaming faggot? Welcome back to the Sixth Virgin Show, where we say things that most people won't. I think I'm not part of one regard, because I present you very old chickpeas. And I'm telling you to call it Bob. You're going to talk to me. I'm Bob. And now we have actually come to the bulk of the game. You thought it was like the, the story mode where you like, <laughs> you thought it was the story mode where you, uh, you know, play the story and like use the, uh, use, use the plants you've gotten in clever ways and try to find the best formation to get the optimal outcome. No, it's watering plants. It's the Zen garden. Uh, fucking, this is where most of your, t most of this game takes place after, after the, the main story. And it comes in the form of the Zen Garden, in which you get shit like, uh, that glove, and, uh, these, uh, fucking, uh, fertilizers. Uh, we'll get the gold watering can later. Uh, and you go to your Zen Garden, and you, uh, grow plants. You grow little miniature version of plants, and I only got the gloves so I could fucking, like, organize them, because it's gonna fucking cause me to have a neurotic episode and uh yeah you just g get plants and like when they grow to full size they give you money every time you water them uh they give you more money the larger they get and uh eventually you will get other plants and most of them you want to sell you'll want to sell because they'll give you a large amount of money and that's how you get other plants so you can master other modes like puzzle mode and like challenge mode and survival mode we're not gonna do everything this game has to offer okay we'd be fucking here forever but we'll do a little bit of it because we're probably gonna finish the story mode and, mm, if not this episode next episode actually definitely next episode or the next one after that uh, think about it but yeah okay cool cool we're done yeah we're leaving oh fuck God damn it! It's <laughs> the, the main hub. I can't be fucking wrong, I don't know, I hear the voices from my head, and I'll go, oh god, not the sort of thing, so I pull up my son, god, you're not having a hard time, gonna hate this last level, why, cause it's not, ah, oh, god damn it. Yeah, me too. I want to go, I'm gonna see it now. Yeah, this one is fucking... The minigame for this one is... Ha ha ha, there's, uh, bungee zombies uprooting your plants all the time. To be fair, it is kind of fun when it's on a track like this. It's not so fun when it's the main mechanic of a goddamn level, which happens far too often for its own good. Alright, thanks, got two pumpkins. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, two pumpkins, two planters, what else you got for me? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Three pumpkins. Three pumpkins for old Britain. <laughs> God damn it! Stop! <laughs> Stop giving me pumpkins! <laughs> oh, thank God. Something to fight with. God damn it. <laughs> I had to waste that on that. On fucking that. Oh, no, here it comes again. No, we're, we're, we're saving it. We're saving this shit, okay? You giving me chompers, you giving me pumpkins, you giving me bombs? Fuck you, man. <laughs> I need something, I need meat. I need something to burn calories. <laughs> now I guess I'll just wait for the, uh, this is so stupid. Let's, let's talk about something. How about, let's talk about Zelda. Cause I've been thinking a lot about Zelda <laughs> recently. I've, I have pledged to this summer, I'm gonna play Every single Zelda game, all of them, even the poopy ones, because I'm, I'm playing them all, regardless of poop level. Uh, to be fair, okay, so I, I put them all into a randomizer. Uh, so far, the first one I played was Zelda 1. I know, fucking go figure. It happened to be goddamn Zelda 1. Uh, Zelda 1 is not <laughs> the, it's not, okay, people have like fond memories of Zelda 1. And they're like, oh, Zelda was the best because it has the, the strong mechanics and the, the core core ideas of the series. No, no, no. Like, <laughs> you're finding your own way and like you have the legitimate chance of finding great things and it's all about the exploration. You find cool shit all the time. No, you're incorrect, sir. In actuality, you're wrong. <laughs> People are remembering the end of Zelda 1, like after you've done four or so dungeons and you kind of got a good idea of where you're going in the world and uh generally you have some equipment and like you aren't dying every five seconds uh that's what people are remembering 
in actuality, the main bulk, like the first third, first two thirds of Zelda 1 is fucking come on, stop killing me, please. That's all I want. I just want to get through this goddamn part. Where is the dungeon? Where is the goddamn dungeon? Half of that game is finding a dungeon. So half of that game is just finding something to do, to be a goal. It's not like, look, it's not like searching for a goal. It's just searching is your goal. It's lame. <laughs> now, once you get to the end, it's pretty fun. Because you got all this, you're decked out with all this cool shit. Am I just gonna get chompers? I, I guess so. I guess I only get chompers in this level. Chompers, pumpkins, and goddamn cherries. Wonderful, fantastic. <laughs> what I, what, what, hey, hey, Timmy, what's your favorite part about Plants vs. Zombies? Oh, it's the chompers and ch cherries! <laughs> that was little Timmy, everybody. Hope you enjoyed little Timmy. Uh, he's dead now. He died of dysentery. Which is weird. Not a lot of people get dysentery anymore. It's not something you hear too often these these day and age. Oh god damn it! Here they come. Now they're gonna steal my plants. Fucking asshats. God damn assholes stealing my shit. Did you both try to eat that? You goddamn idiots. What's the worst kind of commentary? <laughs> is it uh just stating what's on screen yes how about you you know that brennan why are you still doing it you fucking moron i should be less hard on myself <laughs> i really should <laughs> like i don't just do this on a show i do this in real life like i recently joined uh, a group chat with a couple of kind of friends i have here they're becoming more friends now that i'm spending a little more time in town um more more time than the one I actually like live down here. Dude, okay, so cherry bombs don't blow them up. What blows up? Pots. I don't know what blows up pots. <laughs> well, <laughs> the 1940s uh, really did a number on pots. <laughs> 1960s. Sorry, shit, that joke was ruined by my own goddamn incompetence. <laughs> See, it's just, it's just that I had... I had a conversation like that with a with a couple of these friends, or I would say something like depressing and neurotic, and they'd be like, "Brennan, do you need like a friend <laughs> to talk to?" And I was like, "No, I, I'm fine. It's cool." <laughs> and I said it like that. It was, and like that's 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 more worrisome than just saying no. No, it's. <laughs> When you say, when you say, I'm fine, that is a phrase that most assuredly means I'm not fine. <laughs> well, that's not entirely true. If you say, I'm fine, in any kind of tone other than, I'm fine. It's, <laughs> if you say, I'm fine, then you're not fine. You're a goddamn liar. <laughs> and I, you know, there are multiple reasons I can't ever have a girlfriend ever in my life. Uh, uh, one, I'm ugly. Two, I'm stupid. <laughs> They're just slipping out. I'm not trying to say depressing things for like the sake of the goof. They just, they just happen. <laughs> I, that was totally like legitimate. That was unintentional, like a thing that just happened where I said something depressing. Anyways, fucking, what was I saying for, for my fucking neuroticism? <laughs> God damn it! I'm such in a habit of it now. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> I don't even know what to. Can we just title this episode "Britain is Depressing"? Like, I feel like that's an appropriate title. Oh yeah, fucking asshats are gonna come and eat my guys. Hang on, where are you coming, asshats? Here they come. Actually, that's it's not the worst thing in the world. Jesus, Jesus H Christ on a bicycle. My god damn, I'm gonna steal more jokes, god damn it. Oh wait, I could just do this, motherfuckers. <laughs> oh shit, motherfucker! Oh, garlic, garlic is cool. Kind of. Kind of. Not really. Not really cool. Just kinda. Just kinda lame. That's not true, garlic is cool, we'll do a thing with garlic. Uh, what was I even fucking saying before I went on like a thousand goddamn tangents? Uh, uh, something about root beer? No, not root beer. Uh, there are multiple reasons I can't hold down a girlfriend, but uh, I think one of them is that I just can't deal with like basic ass bullshit. Uh, hang on, let me figure out what I'm doing here. Uh, pumpkins, tall nuts, 
We got fucking those guys, the basketball watchers. I mean, they look like they have a job that they hate. Oh, another day of fucking flinging basketballs at people. <laughs> they have a basketball goal as they're they're oh this this, this, this game's neat. <laughs> I like this game a lot. Uh, let's do garlic and uh. Do, uh, no, not snow peas. Potato mines. Yeah, we'll do that. That looks good. That looks nice. Okay, so the thing about garlic is, uh, it, it like basically it lets you. Oh shit! I shouldn't have done that. I should have done the sunflower first. Uh, it lets uh, one. It diverts zombies from one row, so it could do either or if you put it on like a central row. But if you put it on edge row, uh, the zombies are sure to go down instead of up. So we can like plan that accordingly. So for example, we could do strategies like put all of our sunflowers on the top row and then stick a garlic at the front. Um, so we have all the sunflower we need and a lot of shit to play with. So you just supercharge this goddamn row and everything is hunky dory. Um, thing is the, the zombies do have to take a bite of the garlic for this strategy to work. Uh, so it does become kind of an issue and they still go, they still move forward. So, rather, rather, so if a zombie bites it here, they go here. At least I think that's the case. I could be, I could be fucking stupid. God damn it! Can I go one episode, one episode without shitting all over myself? No, because I'm irritable bowel syndrome. Can't write this shit, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Mostly because you would lose your job if you tried to do that. I'll put another garlic out. I should probably put some like offensive shit out. <laughs> I should like probably like put out a couple things that say nigger. <laughs> That's pretty offensive shit. I'm sorry, so I, I shouldn't laugh at my own jokes, but sometimes it just I surprise myself. <laughs> and it just it just the, the goofs come. They come all over my face. I shouldn't laugh at that. I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't <laughs> Uh, were you laughing too? Please tell me you're laughing. I fuck, I need it. I need it to be happy. I need you to tell me how good I was. <laughs> I think I'm just losing it at this point. I'm putting two sunflowers down here. It just to, uh, just to be safe. Corn, you got it? You got that corn? <laughs> I never thought I'd be addressing corn by name. <laughs> He's just a corn named corn. <laughs> corn. Because corn, corn's an actual name, ladies and gentlemen. People have named their child corn. Uh, one of my favorite, like, meta... My One of my favorite, like, meta series on YouTube. God, YouTube is so cool. And that it's, like, the only, like, real platform. I guess just the internet in general, like, in combination with Twitter and other social medias. It's the only, like, format which you can do like a kind of meta show in which like you take advantage of like people being in the moment of a show so like marble hornets is an example uh, marble hornets is a cool show that uh well slap this down here um marble hornets is like a, a film show ish where uh two different channels uh, two different channels in a youtube and a twitter <coughs> Sorry, I had to die for a minute. Um, two different channels and like a YouTube link. Why, what? Uh, two different YouTube channels and a Twitter account both like led this story of like these teenagers that were being harassed by Slenderman. It wasn't actually Slenderman, they gave him a different name because he kind of took on a different role in that story. It was inspired during like the uh, the Slenderman, Slenderman's time on the internet, you know what I'm talking about, when all the Idiots were playing Slender and be like, this is the best walker game ever. All I can do is walk around in the forest and that's it. I mean, it's been, <laughs> that horse has been long dead. <laughs> the, the Slender horse of Slender's a bad game. Of course it's a bad game. It's, it's a, it's a shitty game that like got popular off of goddamn YouTube popularity. A PewDiePie may, actually, people give PewDiePie too much goddamn shit. Cause like half of the like the popular games, people are like oh PewDiePie plays Minecraft, PewDiePie plays Five Nights at Freddy. Fucking PewDiePie doesn't like those games. <laughs> like he likes uh, Happy Wheels. That's the only one like he legitimately likes, and like he can't play it anymore because all the goddamn memes that are just like PewDiePie likes 
<laughs> Sorry, I shit myself a little bit. <laughs> Like, he doesn't like Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, he, he, like, while he was playing it, like, I just, I don't like this. I'm not having a good time. Fucking basketball zombie who <laughs> blows up my plants in the back. Goddamn asshole. Only I'm allowed to fling things at the back line. <laughs> Whoa, why isn't that a goddamn thing? Like, a, a plant that, like, attacks the furthest away zombie instead of the closest one. That would be dope as hell. Uh, that would be a, like an interesting thing and uh, not a gimmick plant like the goddamn starfruit. But you know, there are there, to 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 its credit, there are plants that um that are fucking Brennan. Come on, man, <laughs> don't have a stroke on me. <laughs> there are plants that uh that can go through zombies, but that's like the closest thing to like that kind of strategy working in. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, like meta shows. One of my favorite ones is uh, the Psycho series uh, done by McJuggernuggets. Yeah, that was his name, McJuggernuggets. Uh, fuck! God damn it. It's, uh, that's a really, like, engaging series. <laughs> like, it's about this kid. Well, like, because, okay, in these, like, meta, these meta shows, you're gonna kill my flower. That flower ain't doing shit to you, Grandpa, and you're fucking coming along. <laughs> they do kind of look like Grandpa's coming out on their little wheelchairs, and maybe I just have a racist depiction of Grandpa's. <laughs> My head. <laughs> wow, those, those garlics sure are fucking holding up. Here, I'll re renew this one. The garlics do have health, so, like, if something takes a bite of them, they will have to fucking... Like, eventually they will die if enough things take a bite out of them. So, like, you know, you gotta keep a, a tap on their health. Actually, let's, let's, uh, let's look at this and see... You fucking dick waffle. Oh, yeah, okay, so they, they don't go forward. I think if they go, they hit enough garlics in a row. Uh, because my old roommate, I used to play this with my old roommate. It was, like, one of the only things we agreed over is, like, a game that gets shit on too much, but is actually really fun. Um... Not Eric, it's someone who's not on the channel at all, uh, and never will be, because, like, he's an asshat. Uh, it doesn't realize why he's an asshat, but, uh, yeah, I, dig I digress! Uh, oh, god damn it! They put- the bungee zombies are actually the worst. You know what? I'm- I'm gonna lay a trap for you, motherfucker. <laughs> you're gonna get all the way here, you're gonna get destroyed! Or, no, he's not, he's gonna get destroyed by other things, never mind. Well, I'm- <laughs> now I look like the fool. Now I'm the fool! <laughs> Oh, we did a lot of shit in this video. In fact, this video is probably a little long. Oh, it's getting on up there. It's getting on up there. It's a little past what we typically have our limit to be, I think. I might have cut some shit out with the Zen Garden. I don't know. I mean, Chad might have. <laughs> For some reason, this series sticks in my mind as I'm editing it, because I used to, but I don't. Chad, still, Chad edits this one now. Anyways, I'll see you next time on the Six Virgin Show, where uh, we'll look, we'll we'll get we'll get babies and suck their youth from them.